the lighting in this video is going to be awful because classic British weather it is absolutely chucking it down with rain outside right now which means my house is so dark because there's literally black clouds everywhere so I've got the main lights on but it's creating some not very nice shadows hi guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Casey and I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant that means baby boy could literally be here any day now I am so ready for it as well if he could just come today that would be absolutely perfect I'm currently 37 plus four days as I'm filming this so 37 and a half weeks pregnant there is actually quite a few updates in this video so let's just jump right into it obviously i've got my trusty little list so i do not forget anything if you thought i was out of breath previously i'm gonna be 10 times more out of breath because our whole house has come down with like a cold and i have heard it could potentially be like a pregnancy not a pregnancy symptom like a labor symptom that you're gonna go into labor soon if you do like start getting cold symptoms but because the rest of the house is ill, I think I'm just coming down with a cold. Which also makes me absolutely petrified to have this baby. Because I just want to wrap him in bubble wrap already and do not want to let him out until it is summertime. The thought of my tiny little newborn getting sick is absolutely petrifying. My one year old is ill at the moment and that's sad in itself. I cannot imagine my newborn baby getting ill this might be a little controversial because he is going to be november slash december baby and we do plan on seeing family around christmas that means we are going to hold off having quite a lot of visitors when he is born so we have decided to just stick to grandparents parents and siblings and maybe the odd aunt and uncle now that may sound like a lot of people like to someone who doesn't have a big family zach does not come from a big family whereas i do my family is absolutely huge so by saying only like a few people from my family will be seeing this baby that is probably like five percent if that of my family that will meet the baby before the christmas period just because i really do not want him getting ill and when they do meet the baby there will be limited people holding the baby because again i just really it's not a good time of year i really do not want him getting ill are there any signs that he is coming potentially i've been getting cramps the past couple days like really low down i feel like my body's getting ready but i definitely don't think he's going to be here anytime soon i mean touch wood he is i would absolutely love that i am so over being pregnant i just i cannot wait to get him out i've also had a few contractions i know i've mentioned before that i have had braxton hicks also if i'm all over the place it's because i'm sat on my butt ball at the moment i have mentioned that i have had a few braxton hicks now i have definitely had a few contractions and i don't know how to describe the difference but you can see in my belly how tight it gets and it definitely stops me they're not painful but they're like uncomfortable and zach's mum was around the other day and she saw one and my belly just went so tight and you could literally see the outline of the baby pretty much a few of those but nothing consistent maybe they'll pick up in the next couple of days and actually put me into labor but who knows i think i mentioned in my last update that he was measuring small or at least my fundal height was measuring small he was measuring 34 weeks at 36 weeks so they suggested that i had an ultrasound and i went for that and this is what he is looking like it is so hard to get like a good clear photo of him now because he is so squished in there but from what they saw they were absolutely happy with how he is growing they have no concerns he was measuring so i think i was it was the day before i turned 37 weeks that i went for the ultrasound and he was weighing six pounds so 
I don't think he's going to be massive. I think maybe like on the higher side of possibly seven pounds or in, in between seven and eight pounds and my guess for how big he is going to be when he is born. Surprisingly, my sleep has got better these past couple of days. I don't know what's changed or if my body knows that he's going to be coming soon and it's like, girl, you need to relax. You need to get your rest as much as you can and actually letting me sleep. So I've only been like waking up once at the moment, which is good going. If you have watched any of my other updates, you will know that like I wake up quite often. But this week it has actually been good. Not that I feel like I look any better for it. I feel like I still look absolutely exhausted and I am pretty tired, but getting the extra sleep does definitely help. Everything is now ready for him. Even down to the little things that I was waiting till last minute, like sterilising bottles and all that kind of things. His wallpaper is up in his bedroom. We have got one more thing to do in there and then it will be ready. But he's not going to actually be in his room probably until he's like six months old. So we are not in a rush to do that. But when we do, we will definitely show you guys. I absolutely love his wallpaper though. He, there's kind of like a theme with baby boy like um it's just kind of happened i don't want to like give it away because i absolutely love this wallpaper and i want you guys to see it for the first time when i show it to you but there's like a little theme that goes with him he still does not have a name unfortunately please give me some suggestions for names down below because i'm at a loss even my list of favorite names I'm second guessing myself, so if you do have any suggestions, leave them down below. Other symptoms wise, I have been so hungry, but I cannot eat like a full meal. It's picking at little bits because even though he's really low down, it feels like there's no room. So I tend to just snack and pick throughout the day and then just have like one meal at the end of the day. Hopefully that gets better because snacking, I feel like I'm gaining so much weight and i do not want to continue that habit after i have had the baby i don't think i have any other symptoms i have been asked a few times if i had had any like embarrassing symptoms and i mean or like tmi symptoms and i mean pregnancy is a lot about tmi but this time around i really don't think i have like off the top of my head i cannot think of anything it's been a pretty straightforward pregnancy apart from like my back pain which obviously is still there but i kind of just zone it out at this point because there's absolutely nothing i could do i had the same experience with my first pregnancy and i know it just gets better after i've had the baby i do in a week's time have another midwife appointment and if I am still pregnant by then, I will be requesting a sweep. However, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm just going to go in and ask. Some people don't do it until 40 weeks, which is when you're technically like full term ready to have the baby. So we will see. And the last thing I've been doing recently is pretty much all the old wives tales to get this baby out. I've been doing my swivel hips and my bull. I have been collecting colostrum. I have had a few people on my TikTok comment how I collect colostrum. So I have made a few videos on that and I have got another video going out about collecting colostrum. So keep an eye out for that because there might be a, a nice little discount code for you guys. I absolutely love this brand. I, I guess I could tell you now, I am doing a collaboration with Hucker. They have sent me a few products. By the time this video is out, there should be a discount code for you guys as well. If you are interested in anything like breastfeeding related, definitely go check my TikTok out because there'll be a discount code there. And I'll also leave it down in the description below. But if you want to see what I have been sent by them, then check out my TikTok which will also be linked down below. I think it's time to show you guys my bum. He is going crazy right now. He does not stop wriggling around. Like he just rolls all the time. He's constantly moving and he constantly has the hiccups now. And because he's so low down having the hiccups, I literally feel them in my butt. Let's show you my 37 week bump. Is what he's looking like. Do you guys think he's dropped? I don't know. 
Like if I go like that, I feel like it's really low down. You can see my stretch marks have really come on now. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to follow along with our journey. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.